Wonderland. Jeff Blakeman talking right now with the Audubon Girls 4x800 relay down here at the state track meet in Des Moines. We're at Drake Stadium. Let's start off with Kira Brandon Spore, who started things off today. Kira, how did it go for you? Um, well, I felt a little slow on the first lap, but then I definitely picked it up in the second lap, which was what I was kind of not hoping for. I was hoping to keep them both about the same pace, but it is what it is, and I can't change it now. So why do you think you got off to a little slower start on that opening lap today? Because a lot of times teams get out to a quick start there and everybody kind of runs hard that first lap. Yeah, starting isn't my favorite. I'd much rather end it, but Coach decided to change that a little bit this year, which is okay, I guess. I just, I always am scared I'm going to jump the gun, so I was just hold back a little bit, but I just need to get over that. When did you feel like you finally got kind of relaxed and into the race? Um, the 100 mark on my first lap then I started to go a little bit faster and just realized that it was actually here and it was our time to go how exciting was it to be here um it's always great to be here it's a great experience and just the crowd gets the adrenaline running and just being with your teammates is always makes it fun to spend the day here in the week it's a great time did you have a lot of energy at the end of the race today um yeah I was a little tired but just cheering on our teammates, always get to going, and then Ruby had a good kick and stuff to keep us going and get us farther up in the lead. Well, Kiara, congratulations. Great job, and uh, congrats on again getting down here. Thank you. Let's talk now with Ruby Johnson, who ran that second leg today. And <laughs> Ruby, uh, fighting a little bit of a cough here today. Yeah, Has that I been kind of bugging you for yeah, a while? I have allergies and asthma, so that running really gets me, but... Uh, usually I just start coughing a little bit. It's in, it's in the throat, so I don't know. <laughs> Did it impact your running today at all, you think? Uh, I, um, I, it was just so hot. We're not used to this hot weather, so my throat was just really dry. I had, like, nothing to help me. But, you know, we everyone goes through that, so I think, no, it didn't really. <laughs> you ran a pretty strong leg today. Where did you feel at your best? Um, I, I think I kind of felt pretty good, cut, like, the last uh, 100, 200 going in the second lap, but uh, right going past, past the finish to know that that crowd's going to just help me around, and I knew my parents would be over there to help me on that second lap. So adrenaline really kicked in going into the second lap. So. Did you hear your parents at all? I did, yeah. My mom's voice is pretty, pretty like, high, and so I can find her pretty fast. So. Can you repeat what she told us, told you? Uh, she's like, Ron Ruby, pass that big crowd, or pass that big bunch, and... Yeah, so her voice is just, it just helps me. And I told her to sit where she is, so I was looking for it, and so it, she helps me a lot. How much fun was it running here today? So much fun. I wouldn't be here without my teammates right here. The atmosphere, just the adrenaline. <laughs> it's awesome being down here, and I'm so lucky and very blessed. So. Well, Ruby, we appreciate well, you joining you. us. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Let's move on now to Katie Conkler, and uh, Katie ran the third leg today. Yeah. What was going through your mind as you were watching those first two run and knowing you were having to get ready to run an 800 yourself? Yeah, uh, Kira and Ruby, they got me a really good position and I just wanted to try to keep it the best I could. And from there, I was just trying to catch up to each girl one by one, see how many I could get and then just try to maintain my speed throughout the race. Were you able to do that? Or how many were you able to catch? Uh, I caught two or three and then towards the end, they started to kind of come back on me and I just tried to stay as strong as I could towards the end. Did you feel like maybe you got out a little stronger, or did you have enough left at the end? I felt like I got out strong, but I also felt like I still had quite a bit left at the end. I think it's just like over the season I've gotten stronger with my 800, so that's helped a lot. What do you think has improved the most then in you running 800 this year? Just my endurance. Like I was always, towards the beginning of the season, able to start off that first lap really strong, but then I got to the second one, and I died down, and then throughout the season, like I've been able to get farther and farther without kind of dying down. And I think I was able to really improve on that. You've been down here to watch before. Yeah. What is it like to now finally compete? It's amazing. Like the crowd is all around you and there's always people cheering. And like we had people all around the track. Like my parents are over there and then I heard Ruby's mom. And just I, we had our coaches by the 200 mark. And you just, there's people everywhere supporting you and wanting you to do your best. And it's well, Katie, congratulations. Thanks very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Let's move over now to Whitney Peterson. Whitney, how you feeling? I had to run the anchor leg today. How'd it go? Uh, the first
first lap went, went pretty good, and then I got to the second lap, and I kind of just died a little bit. I didn't run yesterday, so that was kind of like... Were you a little anxious today, too? I mean, it's got to be tough waiting to be that fourth runner. Yeah, I was pretty nervous because it's my first time being here, and I didn't know what to expect, and there's like a lot of people... And I feel like being last kind of like relies on me, so I need to be good. Did you get off to a good start? You said you ran well that first lap. How well did you run? Uh, pretty strong. I might have like started too fast almost because then that during the end, I usually have like a little left, but I was like dead. I couldn't pull anything anymore. <laughs> Where did you feel like it was starting to slip from you there? Uh, definitely the third 200. Okay, and... How did you feel when you got across the finish line? Were you just glad to be done? Yeah, I was glad to be done. It was over with and that I got done. How quickly did you find your teammates to celebrate this run today? Well, Katie brought me a water. <laughs> She's a good friend. I was dying. <laughs> now talk about it. You said your first trip down here. What have you soaked in so far in this atmosphere? Just like the excitement and how like motivation or how like motive, I don't know. How they motivate yeah, you? Yeah, like how like atmosphere is and the excitement and how loud it is it just really pushes you so what else are you waiting for over the next couple of days what's an event you're looking forward to the four by four i'm excited i worked really hard for that one or that like race is that your favorite race yes okay well you got a nice smile on your face on that one so we wish you the best of luck and thanks for joining us today thanks